Hello, my flock. The Bad Raven here. Today is a day that'll live in infamy. Well, not exactly today, but a few days ago. I found out that I will never probably ever be monetized ever in YouTube. Well, I can't say ever. You know, it's going to be a while, though. Which I never expected when I started this channel, the Bad Raven channel, that I was going to be rolling in cash very quickly. If you've seen my one-year anniversary video or any of the other videos where I you know, talk at any kind of length of why I got started in YouTube, uh, it wasn't for the money. Actually, you know, the reason I did, and, and I think a lot of you that have followed me know, is because of my son. That was the main reason. And I always loved movies, too. I wanted my son to know my stories about movies. So that's what started it all. And I uh, always wanted to talk about movies. I, since I was little and fell in love with going to the movies and watching movies on video, I've always had a passion and a love for this crazy thing called the movies. <laughs> that's why I started it. When I got the channel going. I just want to give you a little history of what I went through to get it started and then I can go into what YouTube has come out with and what the video was basically about. But when I started, you know, I just started making videos and I've said this several times and Pizzell knows that he's he's uh, another YouTuber that's very got a big very big channel. My son was watching his videos and he showed them to me and I loved the style that he did his videos and so I kind of was very well inspired by you, Pizzell, and you know that. And I wanted to do that. I wanted to do what he did. I, I liked the way he described his movies and his experiences. So I, I knew I could do that because I love movies too. Maybe not as good as him, not as articulate as him, but still be able to convey what I thought of the movies that I've seen. So I started out making a few videos and, and you can see from my videos in my in my on my channel that I started out with. It's kinda, you know, kind of rough at the beginning, but most people are. Whenever you start something new, like I tell my son, you're not gonna be the best at it. You just gotta work at it, work at it, and get better every time. So that was my plan. And I wanted to be able to start this out and see if I'd like doing it. You know, I wanted to be able to make a few videos, spend a little time, you know, learning how to edit, learn how to upload to YouTube, and go from there. And as I did it more and more, the better I liked it, and I hope the, be the better I'm getting at it. So I don't know, you know, I'm getting some subscribers, so that's a good sign I'm doing something right. But I didn't expect to get a thousand subscribers within a year or maybe even two years, you know. I didn't know how long it was going to take me to get that far. So when YouTube come out with all these new guidelines, which I hesitate before I get into the guidelines that they have now, but when I started last year, around this time in December, January, I almost immediately got monetized. And I didn't have just a handful of, of um, subscribers. Not hardly that many views. So I just got, you know, I sent in all my information, my Google, uh, what do you call that? Google Sense and all that, and got verified, and they started letting me occur from my, uh, from the actual commercials that run from the, uh, get a, a little bit of money from, uh, from my videos. Once I talk about a little bit, I think my first little thing was nine cents, which still blew my mind because it was nine cents. I didn't physically, you know, go to a work at a job. I mean, I'm saying it ain't work to be on YouTube. It's definitely a lot of work I've, I've come to find out. I thought that was neat, make nine cents, you know. I know I never get a check till I got to them, the big $100 threshold 
which would probably took me two years to get to the hundred dollar threshold either way but I was monetized immediately and I was you know I got up to like 32 cents uh, as time went on you know like that with my videos doing a little bit better and I never had no big uh, what do you call it go viral videos like that I just had some little videos here and there that you know did decent nothing nothing in the realm of big youtubers or even middle sized youtubers I thought that was cool well as I went along we had the the ad apocalypse that came along when PewDiePie or whatever his name is I don't know Andrew tells me his name whatever had his little thing go wrong then they jerked me out of monetization and said you have to have a thousand views before you can get monetized again which I finally reached about a week ago <laughs> you know I always have great luck I've always have great luck anything I've ever done whatever that comes out when I get on board everything goes to pot it's just my luck I mean I've I've come to realize that that my luck's just that way I reached it and then the next day this other jerk or whatever his name had three million subscribers and I don't know how these people get these big subscribers that are total idiots not that I'm the smartest man in the world he does the stupid thing he does and then they jerk they just gave me my monetization back on my videos they had just confirmed hey yeah you've reached monetization again for my second time and then jerked it right back under me because the new stuff came out you know what the new stuff came out 4,000 hours of views or whatever content or something and a thousand subscribers and if you look at my account I'm almost there to a thousand I just like about 900 and was it 18 <laughs> I only have 82 subscribers as of this day, January 20th, 2018. So I've got a while to get to that threshold again to get my monetization back, which, you know, like I said, would be just pennies, I understand. But to me, it meant a lot. It meant that, you know, I was doing something I liked and I was actually going to be able to get a little money for it, you know maybe dimes but to me that would have been great well yeah, it, you know and I like to say it did kind of you know deflate me because I was trying to put out a certain amount of videos and I don't put a ton out but I was putting out a certain amount of videos at a time because I wanted you know to kind of keep building my content up like that and you know eventually when I do you know something does hit or somehow I get put into the trending videos whenever that time comes I would be ready for it so when I had this information happen found out this what they're doing I got deflated you know I felt like what am I doing this you know I'm never going to make any money at it which that was not my intent in the first place so then now that's what I kind of came to the realization at when I first did my videos I even said I wasn't expecting to get rich I just wanted to you know put all this down on the on the film and be able to for my son to see it so Really, they didn't take anything away from me. I wasn't going to, I was hoping somebody to get popular enough to maybe get to go to a, uh, a studio uh, screening or them to contact me to do a review on a, on a DVD or something like that. That would have been great. I would have been, that would have been awesome. And that could still happen. I understand that could still happen for me. I could still have that happen even though of all these rules and stuff. But I also had some good things that happened to me on the way before all this ever hit. One day I came home while I was out doing something and I got a little notification that somebody had left a comment on one of my videos. And this is when I first started, you know, just had just maybe 10 or 12 videos out. I uh, had actually wasn't even on my channel, the Bad Raven channel. I had another channel, uh, Bad Raven 6701 that I had started way back when Andrew was a little bitty kid and I had done a Star Wars video with him on it which I did not move the that Star Wars video over where he's playing against Darth Vader 
uh, but I just found the old video and re-edited it, put it down there because I couldn't transfer the old video over. I couldn't find the password, whatever, couldn't get into it and switch it over. But I also had a video of Friday 13th Part 2 where I did a little, what do you call it, an acting job <laughs> of John Fury's character of Paul in Part 2 at the campfire scene. And it was on that uh, channel. And when I was in the car, I got the you know the the comment and it said uh, you did a good job or something to this said something to this effect you know you did a good job because I you know I did the campfire monologue that he done that John Ferry done in the movie uh, Friday Thirty Part Two and I gave him all the credit I just wanted to do it for a Halloween party that me and I had thrown for my son I wanted to be able to do that at the campfire scene so I did this you know the campfire uh, quote or dialogue. John Fury, the actor John Fury, commented on it. He said, good job, and I know because I was there, JF. And I was like, JF? Who's JF? You know, I didn't even think about John Fury, you know, would be John Fury. So I get home and I get to reading it, and I get to look at it and click on his, where he sent it from, and it is John Fury's little site. And it made me feel so good that an actor that I admired in a movie took time to watch my video and liked it. And I would just, it just immediately made me love making videos on YouTube. And it had nothing to do with money, and it had nothing to do with, you know, getting partnerships or whatever like that. It just made me feel really good that somebody that I admired in a movie uh, was in Hollywood that had done a movie that I loved had commented on my video and I left him immediately I left him a paragraph of you know thanking him for you know uh, for leaving that comment it really made me feel good and I said I was giddy as a, a schoolgirl and then <laughs> he commented back said I'm, well one thing I know is you're not a definitely definitely not a schoolgirl so <laughs> he said that that his sister had been going through some videos, I guess maybe they were seeing what people had put on the internet about him, and she found my video and she, you know, forwarded it to him and he watched it. So that shows you, that I just thought that was so cool, the power of YouTube to get my video looked by somebody that I, you know, I got a movie on my shelf that I've watched several million times, the actor recognized me, you know, he recognized me, I mean, not as, as who I am, but he recognized me as what I did to, you know, build him, uh, you know, to say stuff about him. And it was so cool. And it made me think, well, you know, YouTube reaches out to everyone. And I know that that's just in the United States. You know, like I said in my other videos, I, you know, I've got a friend over in Poland. And he, I sent him a shirt. And he's going all over there telling people about my channel. I know someday it'll pay off. <laughs> But, you know, he, he's helping me out. But, I, you know, I got some places from UK where I did some unboxings of videos that I got from UK, the UK version. And I've had several views of those that done really good. And I've had some from Canada, you know, and Mexico. And, and one time I had somebody from Kuwait, which is not on there now. But, you know, I, it just shows you how big the outreach of YouTube is and how I can just send it from a camera and upload this and I can be seen by anybody. So that kind of got me to thinking about why be down? Why be down because of YouTube? If really YouTube is the only reason they saw me. So I could be mad at them for not monetizing me. Or I could be glad that they let me put my videos on here. And I've still got a platform. And, and that's kind of brought me out of the funk that I was in of, you know, the feeling bad. I have now that I've just kind of like, you know, taken stock in everything that's gone on with the new changes to it. And I, and I, I listened to Pizzell's, he had a, a video about it on his channel. And he was encouraging small channels like mine, because mine is very small. I really understood what he was talking about, you know. There's other ways, diversify, I understand it. I understand what he's talking about. I've, I've started my Patreon account. I had it started before even these rules came down. I've tried a Patreon. I'm, 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 you know, I really kicked that at the end of my videos to, for people that you know want to support me, they can. And, and I'm going to try other things too. I'm going to get into the, um, 
trying to merch some merchandise for my channel to be you know be able to make uh, things that way. I like I had the shirts and stuff. I'm going to do a little few things to kind of entice people to do the the Patreon here in a few months. So it helps me to kind of like think outside the box, not just think of oh they took this away from me, and I should be upset. I need to quit. You know I'm not going to quit. Even if I don't ever even get any money from anything else, I'm not quitting. I'm going to do it as long as I able to do it. You know, I have stories to tell. I'm going to do it. So maybe someday I can reach a thousand subs. You know, I've got 82. It's took me a year to get 82, but nothing easy has been worth it. And you know, if you ever done, got something done really easy, it's not been really worth it because you didn't get to have to claw yourself through it. And you didn't have to work for it and it doesn't have the same meaning. So I'm used to that. You know, I've not had anything just given to me. I've had to work for everything I've gotten. This is no different. I don't expect to get rich off YouTube, nor do I did I come up with that. I just wanted to be kind of recognized for maybe getting to do a DVD release review, get to go to a screening, like I said, get to uh, uh, do reviews of movies, to anything that I love, the stuff I love to do. That was my whole reasoning, and, and for my son, and all those, like I told you before, and I know I'm rambling on, but I just wanted to make a video and say the Bad Raven's here and the Bad Raven's here to stay. And no matter what, we are going to be putting out videos for you, the flock, or anybody else out there that enjoys us. And you're a flock member, whether you join the Elite Bad Birds on my Patreon, you're a flock member no matter what here on the Bad Raven channel. And this is not going to stop me in any way, form or fashion. And I'm going to be here for you, the flock, uh, anytime that you want to come back to my channel. So I'm going to wrap this up and uh, just say, remember, always remember, the Bad Raven is your friend. And we appreciate you completely for coming and watching our videos. So come back for more. There's going to be more videos out there for you. And we can't wait to start off this year right. So I'm just going to say I'm going to let you go, and I'll talk to you later. And goodbye.